So we see that Samuel is rebuking Saul and he's trying to get him to understand that you have not obeyed the Lord. You think you're obeying the Lord, but you have not obeyed the Lord. And in fact, the Bible says that Saul stopped following the Lord. And it says that, hey, he was a, a stubborn individual because when you're not obeying, you're in rebellion, bottom line. Bottom line, you're not obeying the Lord, you're rebelling against the Lord. And it says, hey, you want to know something about rebellion? It says witchcraft. And you know what? Stubbornness is as iniquity and idolatry. Go ahead and look at Psalm 66, 16. It says, Come and hear, all ye that fear God, and I will declare what he hath done for my soul. I cried unto him with my mouth, and he was extolled with my tongue. If I regard iniquity in my heart, the Lord will not hear me. So whenever we're in disobedience, whenever you have sin, and you know that you sin, Hey, the Lord will not hear you. And I don't know about you, but I want God to hear me. Every time I pray, God, help me. I pray God help me a lot. <laughs> I pray God help me a lot while I was walking here. Amen. <laughs> but I ask for things. Help me. You know, heal me. You know, it's like, Lord, help, in, help this person, help that person. And I would hate for the Lord to be like, hey, I didn't even hear those prayers because of your iniquity. It's like him putting on a pair of these. You guys recognize these? I know you do back there. You hate Apple products. <laughs> this is Air Maxes, one of the best headphones out there. Not the best, but one of the best. And one of the things that I like about it, the reason I bought it is because of this. When my kids are going crazy, bloop, noise canceling, shut them down. See, some of you laugh, but I didn't hear you laugh. I saw your mouth's open, and right now I can hear you. I see your lips, but I don't hear the laugh. I don't hear the laughter. So that's kind of how God is. You know, he's ready. He's ready to cancel you when you got sin. Now I can hear you clearly. I turned off the noise can. Now I can hear your laugh. Before, all I see is this. No noise whatsoever. None. So when you have iniquity in your heart, imagine God putting the noise canceling on you. Literally, I saw your mouth open, but I didn't hear a single thing. A single thing. And I don't know about you, but I don't want God to cancel my prayers. And one easy way to cancel your prayers is to refuse to get baptized. You better believe that. No, he's not going to destroy you like he destroyed Saul because, yes, of course, I mean, think about Saul. He was given a big, big task and he disobeyed big time. You know, so, of course, he got his punishment. But refusing to be baptized is not a good thing either because he will not hear your prayers. Now, he'll be long-suffering towards you, not willing that any should perish but that all should come to repentance. He's not going to destroy you right away. But the big mistake that we make is we often think that God has given us permission because he's being patient. Well, if God had a big problem with me not being baptized, how come he hasn't come down on me yet? Because he's long-suffering towards us, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. True? All right, and if you can, go to Acts, Acts 10. Meet me in verse number 44. Acts 10, 44. And while you're going there, I'm just going to finish, you know, what we were reading over in 1 Samuel. Samuel says this, Because thou hast rejected the word of the Lord, he has also rejected thee from being king. And Saul said unto Samuel, I have sinned. Now he confessed it. But let me tell you something. Proverbs makes it very clear. He that confesseth and forsaketh shall have mercy. Not just the one that says, I have sinned, but the one that turns from his sin. The Bible says, you'll prosper, you will be forgiven, you will have mercy. Not that God is like, God, I'm sorry. But you still have that sin. You haven't cut it out yet. It's like, well, when you cut it out, then my blessings don't come back. And that's the problem with Saul. He confessed, God, I've sinned. But guess what? He kept continuing in his evil ways. To the point where he even said later on, it's not in my notes, where he's trying to raise up Samuel from the dead. Saying, God doesn't hear me anymore. He's got an Air Maxes on with noise canceling. Help, help me help him take him off. 